Sally Sampson is a passionate woman. I mean passionate in the good sense, as in, that pit bull sure is passionate about the rag doll. Sally had a very simple idea. It's wrong that kids are obese, and it's our job as adults to try to reverse that. We know that people who cook their own meals are less obese than people who eat out a lot. Therefore, we should get more kids to cook. How do you do that? You find a magazine that helps kids cook and promote it. But there are no such magazines. Okay, start your own. And so was born Chop Chop. It started out small. Its ambition was merely to reduce obesity in Boston. And then it grew, and grew, and kept growing. Chop Chop, the magazine, now reaches more than two million families. It's available in English and Spanish. It's endorsed by the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Parents' Choice Foundation, and cookbook author Mark Bittman. It's won a James Beard Award. Michelle Obama is a fan. And so too are countless kids, including my own. I'm an advisor to the magazine. Advisor as in, gosh, Sally, that mountain is very tall and you don't have any equipment. Are you sure you want to climb it? The answer is always yes. So I come along for the hike, carrying the supplies and protecting the rear. Chop Chop has brought me lasting fame, though. I have the high privilege of being one of the few adults who's been a model for Chop Chop. I met Sally in 2008. She was just putting her ideas together. I thought to myself, pay attention to this woman. She could bring you a lot of good press one of these days. You see, the ancient Greeks were very smart, but they were off in one important respect. They thought there were four fundamental elements of nature, earth, air, fire, and water. They forgot about the fifth most important element, Sally Sampson. When Sally wants something to happen, it does. And so I followed. Recent trends show that obesity rates are leveling off and even declining among some groups. That is good news indeed. Possibly, Sally does not deserve all of the credit for this. But when the history of this era is written, there will be a special spot for the people who led the charge into cooking and eating healthier. Sally Sampson will be at the head of that parade, and I'll be right there, claiming it was all my idea at the start. No honor could be as richly deserved as this one, and no person could be as justly recognized. Congratulations to Sally, and here's to the promise of so many more successes. <laughs>